Hey everyone, welcome to another top 10 list, and I actually got a request to do this, and you know what? I never thought of it, so yeah, here's my top 10 favorite time traveling movies, and there's actually a lot of good time traveling movies, and I thought, I'm like, you know, time traveling movies, I could easily make a top 10, but then I actually looked at a big list of time traveling movies, and I'm like, Damn, there's a lot of good ones. So yeah, it was really hard to make a top 10 list of this, but I did. And yeah, thank you for that guy who commented about uh, time traveling movies. Here you go. Here's my top 10 of my personal, personal favorite time traveling movies. Some people might not agree with this list, but that's why it's my list. So yeah, here we go. And then of course, before a top 10 list, you gotta have your honorable mentions. It had a lot of honorable mentions. And my honorable mentions for time traveling movies is are Star Trek The Voyage Home. Star Trek First Contact, About Time, Time Bandits, The Time Machine 1960, not the 2000s version, uh, X-Men Days of Future Past, and Primer. Yes, that very confusing time traveling movie that makes us all really stupid when we watch it. Great movie. Couldn't make the top 10 list. But what didn't make the top 10 list was my number 10, and that is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Radical. <laughs> Yes, I love Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. People are going to be like, judge you, like, oh, why is this movie on your list? This movie's stupid. Hey, I love this, love this movie. It's hilarious. It's a very fun. Yeah, I love this movie. This movie stars Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves, and this movie is just awesome. It has, also has George Carlin in this movie, and I got the Blu ray of this movie, and it's just a fun movie. I know it has time traveling in it. It's about basically two high school students who get a time machine, and they go back in time and go to a lot of historical events so they can pass their history exam. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, and basically they go through a lot of stuff, and they see a lot of cool historical people, and it's awesome to watch it. Yeah, you got Keanu Reeves acting like his typical, well, typical 80s stoner self. Bro, radical, yeah. Sorry. Love Bill and Ted, it's one of my favorite time traveling movies. I love it, it's just a funny comedy movie. Yeah, anytime you're in for a movie that just puts a smile on your face, Bill and Ted's the way to go. Radical. Number number nine is actually a very smart time traveling movie. And that is Source Code. Yes, Source Code starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Michelle Monaghan. And this movie is fantastic. The story of this movie is basically Jake Gyllenhaal is going inside another person's body because Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, I'm not gonna spoil what Jake Gyllenhaal is, but he's going in another person's body who's already dead and he's repeating the day over and over again because this, this guy was on a train and the train blew up and basically Jake Gyllenhaal has to solve who blew up this train. He basically has to repeat the day over and over again, basically through almost like time traveling, and he has to find out who did it. And this movie is so freaking good. I love this movie. It's fantastic. It's a very smart sci-fi movie. It's got some pretty comedic moments, but it's a really serious science fiction thriller, and I love this movie. I love seeing Jake Gyllenhaal goes through, go through this day over and over again. Basically, it does that Groundhog Day, but this movie is just so thrilling. It's visually appealing, too, and Jake Gyllenhaal and Michelle Monaghan give amazing performances. Jeffrey Wright and Vera Farmiga are also very, very good in this movie. So actually, it's also got a very smart, very smart plot and a very clever ending. I won't spoil the ending for this movie. It's very clever, very smart, and I love this movie. Source Code is amazing. Check it out if you have not seen it. One of the best time traveling movies you'll ever watch. Coming in number eight is an old school time traveling movie, Time After Time. Yeah, this movie starred Malcolm McDowell, and he actually played H.G. Wells, the guy who wrote The Time Traveler. And the story of this movie is actually kind of hilarious. Uh, basically, Jack the Ripper, he lives in the time of Jack the Ripper, and Jack the Ripper steals a time machine that H.G. Wells created, and basically he goes... And he goes forward into the future, and H.G. Wells has to follow him, and basically has to catch Jack the Ripper in the modern time. Well, the modern time when this movie was made, which was 1979. And this movie is just awesome. I love the unique idea, the unique premise, and I love Malcolm McDowell in this movie. It's also, it's very comedic, this movie. It's very smart, this movie. It's also pretty thrilling at times. I really, really enjoy this movie. This is a very overlooked movie, too, and a lot of people don't know about this movie. Check it out if you have not seen it. It's a very funny movie. It's a very cool movie. It's just an entertaining film, and I really liked it, and I'm a big Malcolm McDowell fan, so of course I loved him in it. So yeah, check time after time, especially if you're into the classics. It's awesome. Coming number seven is Safety Not Guaranteed. Yes, I mentioned this. This was actually my number one most overlooked movies, because it's a very overlooked movie. This movie came out in 2012. It was an independent film. Nobody really saw it, and this is a fantastic movie. The story of this movie is about a guy who puts an ad in the paper, and he's basically looking for a partner to go time traveling with. Yeah, so a girl reporter played by Aubrey Plaza it goes and answers to it, and basically she wants to do a story about him. She wants to know if he's 
crazy or not, and I'm not gonna tell you if he is crazy or not, because that will give away the whole amazing ending, but yeah, this movie is just a really cool movie, and a very funny movie, and a very entertaining movie, just like Time After Time, but in a very different way. That I really like this movie. I love Mark Duplass and Aubrey Plaza in this movie. They both have very good chemistry. Mark Duplass is a bit of a kooky character, but he's also a very interesting, very likable character, and I really enjoy him in this movie. And Kristen Bell is also a very small cameo in it, and yeah, I just really enjoy this movie. It's just a really well-written movie, and, it, and a very light-hearted and very potent movie, and yeah, a lot of people really need to give this movie a watch. I mentioned in, in this movie in my Overlooked video, and yeah, people give, please give this movie a watch. It's a fantastic movie. It's a very well-written movie, very well-acted movie, and it's got a lot of charm, a lot of heart, and a very, very cool ending. Love the ending. The ending was just awesome. It got a big laugh out of me, and yeah, I love this ending to this movie, and I love this movie in general. And I love this movie, and I love the ending to this movie, so yeah, check this movie out. It's fantastic. Go see it. Come in number six is actually my favorite Woody Allen movie, and that is Midnight in Paris. Yes, this movie came out in 2011. This was actually one of my favorite movies in 2011. I have the Blu-ray of it. It's a fantastic movie. It's a marvelous, romantic, beautiful movie, and I I adore this movie. This movie actually is what got me into Woody Allen, because I only saw one Woody Allen movie throughout basically my life. Yeah, I didn't watch a lot of Woody Allen movies. All I saw was Annie Hall, and I enjoyed it, but... This movie made me watch a shit ton of Woody Allen movies throughout 2012, 2013, and I loved this movie. This movie was freaking hilarious. And yeah, I kind of spoiled it's a time-traveling movie, because if you've seen the trailers for this movie, it does not tell you it's a time-traveling movie. But it is, and O. Wilson plays this neurotic kind of guy. Basically, he's like Woody Allen, almost. And yeah, he, he goes to Paris for a vacation, and at the stroke of midnight, when he goes to a certain place, he travels back to the 1920s. Where all his idols are, like Trude Stein and Zelda, Fitzgerald, Scott Fitzgerald, Ernest Hemingway, all those brilliant people. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Picasso, Pablo Picasso. Yeah, he goes to see all these idols. He travels through Paris in the 1920s. And it's just awesome. It's very funny, too. Owen Wilson is awesome, this movie. Same with uh, Richard McAdams. And this is actually my favorite Woody Allen movie. It's a very well written movie, it's a very well directed movie. And it's hilarious, too. And I love Loved this movie. This was my second favorite movie of 2011, and yeah, my favorite movie was Hugo, actually, and I just adore this movie. Check this movie out. This is a pretty uh, somewhat underrated film, and if you haven't seen this yet, check it out. I know there's a lot of people that are not Woody Allen fans, but honestly, Midnight Paris is well worth the watch. It's awesome. Coming number five is 12 Monkeys. That's yes, Bruce Willis and Brad Pitt. This is a Terry Gilliam movie, so. It's a fucked up movie. <laughs> All Terry Gilliam movies are fucked up, and this is a really, really fucked up movie. But I love it. I love it from start to finish. Twelve Monkeys is awesome. Um, I actually watched uh, a few episodes of the show. It sucks. It really sucks. This movie's awesome, though, and Bruce Willis is awesome. Brad Pitt got his first Oscar nomination for this movie, playing that friggin' mental patient. He's great in this movie. The ideas and ideas in this movie are very, very clever. The direction's very well done. It's a very well executed movie, and the way it ends is really, really clever. The way it begins is very, very clever, and I really, really enjoy this movie. This is kind of a freak of a nature of a movie, but it's really, really well done. Well shot, well directed, beautifully written, and Bruce Willis and Brad Pitt kill in this movie. If you love time traveling movies, check out 12 Monkeys. If you love Terry Gilliam, you've probably seen this movie already. So yeah, 12 Monkeys, awesome. Coming number four is Looper. Yes, uh, I got Looper on Blu-ray, of course, and this movie blew me away. There's one flaw with this movie, but if I spoil, but if I spoil the flaw, I spoil the whole ending. So yeah, that ending is a very flawed ending. Other than that, this is a very smart, very intriguing, very thrilling, very entertaining film. And I loved this movie, Looper. Bruce Willis and Joseph Gordon-Levitt kill it in this movie. Emily Blunt, also awesome. And yeah, they really did good makeup on Joseph Gordon-Levitt to make him look more like Bruce Willis. I really liked that. I love how they did the time traveling in this movie. I love Jeff Daniels as this really cool villain. And yeah, this is a really good movie. The action's good. The visuals are good. Ryan, Ryan Johnson wrote and directed this movie. He also did uh, Brick, which is a very awesome movie. This movie, he was brilliant in this movie. He also, like Alex Garland, like I mentioned in X, my Ex Machina movie review, he can do a Star Wars movie because he really knows the science fiction genre really well. And this movie is just brilliant. I love Looper. I've seen it about ten times now, and I can't get enough of it. Looper, great time-traveling movie. Coming number three is The Terminator. Yes, once again, I mentioned The Terminator. I'll be back. Yes, in my Arnold Schwarzenegger video, my action video, I've mentioned Terminator. I've praised Terminator to death. 
But everyone knows if you've seen The Terminator, it's a fucking time-traveling movie. Where do you think the T-101 came from? But yeah, I love The Terminator. I won't go into too much details because I'm bright and a lot about this movie. It's written and directed by James Cameron, who did a brilliant job with this movie. It stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Michael Biehn, and uh, Linda Hamilton. And this movie is just fantastic. The action's great. It's almost like a scary movie because you got this fucking machine chasing after these people. And... What makes this movie good is Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese, their chemistry with each other, them connecting with each other, him t him telling her about John Connor, telling her about the future, and how it's almost doomed to everything. You cannot stop Judgment Day, and it's really cool, and I really love this movie. The practical effects look great, the action looks great, and I just adore this movie. It's one of my favorite time traveling movies, and yeah, I love it. It's my favorite Terminator movie. I've mentioned this tons and tons of times. Terminator is better than T2, in my opinion. Some people are like, oh, T2 is better. I get it, but I just like Terminator 1 better. I just do. I love Terminator 1. The Terminator! I'll be back. Coming number two is Back to the Future. Yes, I must send you Back to the Future. Great Scott. Yes, I love this movie. I love it so much, I have it on Blu ray. I have all three. This is actually all three of them on Blu-ray. I actually enjoy... Well, I, I enjoy the first two. I'm not a big fan of Back to the Future Part 3, but I love Part 2. And Part 1, the first one, is brilliant. I love this movie. I love Back to the Future. It's one of the most fun movies... One of the most fun science fiction movies, like, ever. That and Galaxy Quest. But, yeah. It's, the, the, it's just such a fun ride. Going on this adventure with Marty McFly and Doc Brown. I love... And I loved this movie movie. Michael J. Fox was great in this movie. Christopher Lloyd was awesome in this movie. Again, when you get into the sequels, some of the time traveling kind of makes no sense, but honestly, you don't care. You watch it for the great action, the great adventure, the great characters, and the great comedy. I love Back to the Future. I just love it. I love the car, the DeLorean. The DeLorean kicks ass. And yeah, it's just so many good moments in this movie, and so many good comedic elements to this movie, and I just love Back to the Future. I've watched this ever since I met a kid. It's gotten that nostalgia for me, but honestly, I just adore this movie. It's one of my favorite movies, and it's just so much fun. I can watch this movie over and over again, and you never get sick of it. Love Back to the Future, one of the best time traveling movies ever. Robert Zemeckis did a hell of a job. And my number one favorite time traveling movie is Groundhog Day. Yes, Groundhog Day. Love Groundhog Day. And some people are like, oh, it's not really a time traveling movie. Yes, it is. He repeats the day over and over again. Of course, it's a fucking time traveling, time -traveling movie. And it's an amazing time traveling movie. This movie is direct directed by Held Ramos, who did an awesome job with this movie. He's a very funny guy. Gosh, so man, I love you, Harold Ramis, and he did a fantastic job with this movie. It's a very well-directed movie, and it's a very smart movie, too. It's a comedy, but it's a very smart comedy, and I really, really enjoy this movie, mostly because of its charm and its characters. Well, Bill Murray. Bill Murray makes this movie. Yes, Bill fucking Murray. Yes, Bill Murray is awesome in this movie. He really makes, gives this movie a lot of laughs and a lot of charm. And I, I love that he plays a character who starts off pretty unlikable, but it turns into, like, the most likable guy ever. And you love seeing him go through all this, love seeing him go through all this time warp and he's repeating the day over and over again. You kind of felt bad for him, but you also, it was hilarious to watch. And, yeah, his chemistry with Andy McDowell was really, really good. She was good in the movie, too. And, yeah, she wasn't just a looker. She actually gave a good performance. And their chemistry with each other was really, really good. The, uh, you watch the movie mostly for the story. Him repeating the day over and over again, seeing what he does and stuff. And it's awesome. Watching it is great. And watching him kill, him, kill himself a bunch of times is hilarious. Because he gets so depressed just to kill himself a bunch of times. that he thinks, maybe I'm a god. <laughs> of course, I would think that too. And I know a lot of people are saying, like, why is this number one? Why is this number one? It's number one because Why Risky Business was number one on my Tom Cruise list. It's just an enjoyable movie, and it's a movie I can watch over and over again. I've upgraded this movie a bunch of times. I had the VHS, did DVD, to Blu-ray. I've seen this movie like 50 times, and I can't get sick of it. I adore this movie. It's fan. Fantastic. Just so unique and so bizarre and just so interesting and I just adore this movie. I love this movie. I can't get enough of Groundhog Day. A lot of these movies on this top ten list I can't get enough of, but this is my all-time favorite time traveling movie. I love Groundhog Day. It puts a smile on my face every time I watch it and any time, any time I have a down day, Groundhog Day will always cheer me up. This has a movie and yeah, I love Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is amazing. Love it. So yeah, that was my top 10 favorite time traveling movies, and yeah, please come below, give me your top 10 favorite time traveling movies. Curious to know opinions, and did you agree with me or not? And of course, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.